What is up, everybody? It has been a long time since I uh, made an arc video. Uh, about two weeks now, so uh, let's get. Oh, no, he's not ready to poop. Oh, I'm so disappointed. It's supposed to be part of a good intro, but it's alright. So, uh, welcome to yet another episode of Arc Survival Evolved. And uh, since it's been so long since I did a new video, uh, there's a lot to bring you up to speed on. So, first and foremost, unfortunately. Undertaker, or as he was christened by the time he died, Sharptooth, is no longer with us. It's a sad day. We suspect that someone shot at him or aggroed him, and uh, he basically went over the walls after him. None of us have seen the death message, but it's been lo such a long time since we've seen him. He's, he's presumed dead, which is a sad thing. Um, but alas, l l let's take you through what we do have. Uh, Chuchi's uh, Triceratops, our blo uh, your my boy Blue, is still here. Uh, I got this guy for uh, reasons I'll show you later, but uh, I decided to call him <laughs> Stoner. Yeah, I'm, I I'm immature. Leave me alone. Uh, oh yeah, and here we go. So I was supposed to do a nice big dramatic reveal of this, but I thought I would uh, make things a little bit more organized. And I think there's going to be a theme of the base as we uh, continue evolving. Ooh, there's a green chop over there. Green greens are all right. Greens sometimes you can get uh, some good stuff if you're taming, you know, some narcotics and whatnot. But uh, for the most part, I don't really, I don't really go towards them. But up in door one, we have two, two saber tooths. And honestly, uh, I was using raptors for, as you can see from the other videos, uh, for quite a lot and uh, quite a long time. And um, I, I tend to go through them. Also, quite a lot. So, uh, ever since I got these, I have to say, I've n I haven't touched the Raptors since. These things are amazing. They, uh. Come on, get on. Oh, you stuck. No, no, a design flaw of the pen. What has happened? Okay, and what about this guy? There we go. Okay. Whee! So, yep, they run super fast. They hit like a truck, they jump like a beast. Oh, it's fantastic. So, these things, as soon as you can get these over a raptor, I fully recommend it. And then just keep, like, if you're, if you have, uh, if you still have a raptor, just keep it around, uh, for protection, you know. Set it on, uh, follow. And, uh, keep it on neutral. And, oh, no. This is a problem. Ugh. Admittedly, I should have given this guy, this one, a little bit more space. This is not good. This is not good. I don't know if I can do it. Can I get... Oh, no, wait. Okay, that's good. That's good. I gotta fix this guy anyway. Good, good, good. To be honest, uh, the, the the more powerful one, uh, the one on my right, isn't actually mine. That is Andrews, who uh, you met in the second video. Was it the second video? Yeah, second video, who uh, has been helping me out. And uh, there's a reason why we're holding on to him. Um, basically, Andrew... Chuchi and a bunch of other people in our tribe went and made a base up in the north. Um, let's see here. Map. Oh, map lag. Uh, right around, I think, around 40, 40, 70. Yeah, 40, 40 latitude, 70 longitude. And, uh, we were doing well up there. It was a very good location, right in, right by the mountain, so we're farming a lot of metal and whatnot. Uh, unfortunately, due to us getting a little over-eager, being in the north and all, raiding everyone who is nearby, we ourselves got raided to the point where we have virtually nothing in the north any anymore, other than the building itself. Um, so, ever since then, Andrew hasn't really been online, and, uh, his dinosaurs have been starving. So, I went to go check on his dinosaurs, and, uh... This guy over here was uh, starving to death and would have died if I didn't come to save him. So, uh, for now, I have claimed him as my own. Uh, Andrew, if you're watching this, come get your kitty cat. Or leave him with me. I don't mind. Up next in door number two. Scorponok. That's right. Come on. Everyone who watched Beast Wars knew I had to do this kind of reference. I, I, I try to reference as many things as I can uh, with my animals, as you can see over there. Happy. Everyone who watches Fairy Tale, happy the cat. I wish they had a blue one. Honestly, he doesn't really match. I know, but that, that's that's what it, what I got to work with, boys. But yeah, Scorpionoc. Uh, what are, what are we rocking with this guy right now? Come on, gear, uh, excess inventory. 
There we go. So we're pumping as much health as we can, uh, following my buddy Chuchi's recommendation, just so he can basically tank uh, anyone we want uh, while we uh, slowly sting him and knock him out. Anything we want to tame. Because we are going to go after a T-Rex soon. We need something big to replace our Spinosaurus. Door number three. Our twin raptors. Uh, they are mate boosted, so um, whenever I go out on the uh, saber tooth, I keep these guys as escorts. And I've been pumping basically down. Oh, here we go. On Pratness. <laughs> That's right. I'm never going to run out of Pratt names. Never. As long as I never run out of raptors. The only reason this guy is not a Pratt name is because it's, Chuch it's Chuchis. So, uh, I'm gonna shut this door. Yeah, like I said, I was, uh, I'm only pumping attack damage on those guys, because, uh, apparently there's no stamina when they're just running after you, uh, when you have them unfollow. So, just pumping pure, uh, attack damage. Attack damage and, uh, health, so, uh, we can keep them around a little bit longer. But, uh, the fourth and final door. My Carnosaurus. That's right. We were, I was able to salvage enough metal before, uh, we lost, uh, before we got raided, rather. Uh, to make a saddle for this guy, and uh, yeah, he's been doing me mighty fine. I gotta say, Carnos are great if you can get a hold of them. Uh, honestly, just nice intermediate uh, meat eater overall. Uh, will definitely become more useful to me when we're getting the uh, the Tyrannosaurus. But yeah, future plans for the base. Definitely, we gotta upgrade these. Uh, well, not upgrade rather, but build higher. All these fences, uh, all these pens. That way, uh, because sometimes when I accidentally uh, hit, uh, or rather, sometimes it's necessary to uh, make everyone follow you. Like sometimes the birds up there. Oh yeah, I got two more birds up there. Don't worry about them. We honestly, I I, I go through birds worse than I would go through my raptors. So I just I just don't want to touch them until I need to touch them. So they're just gonna stay up there. Then maybe if you stood in one of the super powerful, it's cool. Um, but yeah, uh, this guy's going to be very useful for us when we get the uh, Tyrannosaurus. And um, yeah. Shut the, Shut the gate. Come on. Oh, damn it. I failed so badly. Open. But like I was saying, we're going to uh, build up higher, build up all these pens. So that way, if we ever do have to pull everyone, uh, make everyone follow, they won't sort of trample each other. Because like, these dinosaurs can actually still get over those uh, pens. Which is really annoying, so we got to build them all the way up. And maybe, maybe put ceilings? I don't know. It's going to be kind of cumbersome to put ceilings on these things, to be honest. So I might just leave them how they are. It's going to be hard for uh, players to attack them. And if they are, well, fuck it. They're going to just attack them anyway. That's the way I look at it. Uh, but the second part of the upgrades I plan to do... Uh, I don't know what Andrew... Uh, not Andrew, the guy who was helping me, but my... Uh, another friend. Uh, In-game, he, he goes by Sora. But uh, I don't know what he was uh, thinking over here. So, he built, like, the second pen here, and he never really finished walling it off, and I don't know why he made it, like, sort of separate from the other pen over here, and you can only access it from going up the, to the top of that tower and then coming down the tower, which is stupid. So, what we're going to do here is, the goal of the next few videos is to build a metal dinosaur gate, which is big enough to get a Tyrannosaurus through. Unfortunately not big enough to get a Spinosaurus through. Uh, you still need the Behemoth gate for that. Um, but that is uh, that is too right now out of our reach. So we're going to get that metal gate. We're going to place it sort of right along here. Uh, then, you know, break down all these wooden uh, spikes, pull them out towards the fence, and then start working on getting the cement wall all the way down around here, and just getting a larger pen overall. So, that's going to be the goal of the next few videos. But for now, uh, the problem with getting the metal gate is without the, without the base up north, getting metal down here is extremely hard. Uh, the only other way to get metal down sort of this area is that island over... Nope, that's not the island. Where is it? Ah, that, that one over there. Uh, and it may not look at, uh, look like it right now because I don't have my draw distance set to it. But, uh, yeah, a clan moved in there and basically set up three behemoth gates into the front to seal it off. And then behind there, they've got a... Uh, I'm not sure what it looked like. It looked like a 3x9 or a 3x12 base down there. Pretty, pretty decent, and it's all metal. So, uh... When I scoped it over with one of my other pterodons, uh, I got lit up by either a sniper or possibly uh, a 
a sentry gun. I'm not quite sure. Either or, my bird got killed, so uh, I didn't see who shot him, unfortunately, and I just fell to my death. So, yeah. Uh, that island over there is basically the only place in the noob area that spawns metal. So, unfortunately, while I have an Ankylosaurus, which makes uh, stone gathering for... Uh, you know, for the eventual walls, it is very useful. But uh, with regular stone, as many of you art players already know, you only harvest about one piece if you're lucky. Like, let's see here. Uh, on this guy, I've just been boosting weight for obvious reasons. He is my main uh, metal and rock farmer. I also usually take out the Triceratops with me, but right now, just because we're doing the little video and some demonstration stuff, I think, uh, I think the stoner will just be, uh, just fine. But yeah, we're gonna come over, over here. Get us some more stone. See, that one, we didn't even get any, uh, metal. And, unfortunately, that's gonna be a, the theme of a lot of the rock farming in the noob area when you're trying to, uh, when you're just trying to get metal. And, uh, it's part of the things you're gonna have to deal with. Either you, you know, you go through the... The easy part's down here, getting the metal, or you try to tough it out up north and try to get yourself really well established and really well defended before uh, you get raided. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, I'm not—I'm not really much of a risk taker at the moment. I like to get fortified first before I uh, start venturing out. You know, have like a very solid base of operations. That way, I always, ha I always have something to fall back to if like I lose my outpost, uh, my outpost in the north or whatnot. Um, so, let's see here. We're gonna get uh, the Triceratops out here. Why am I going back in with Stoner? Back it up. Back it up. Beep. 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 Okay, seriously, come on. Alright, turn around. Avoid the spikes. Good boy. Ugh, I'm gonna... Get on. Right, turn around we go. Okay. Oh, the lag is real. The lag is real. Oi. Laptop. Keep up. And we're going to set the follow. Okay. Now, because these guys are not exactly saber tooths, uh, I'm going to head down to the bottom of uh, this little cliff here. And uh, I'll see you in a moment. All right, we're back. We're back, and we're finally at the bottom of the cliff. As I just said, these things aren't exactly like Sonic the Hedgehog. Despite being, you know, kind of pointy on the back and everything. Nah, it doesn't really look like a hedgehog, does he? No. But yeah, this is what I've been doing to get metal uh, in my area. Okay, so if you're near a stream area, see these small rocks here? I don't know what it is about them. They have a high... A high yield rate, let's say, of uh, metal ore for me. Um, I don't know what it is. Um, I find that maybe it's just the size, but you usually have, let's see here, a decent chance of getting, let's see, look at that, two pieces. Just by the river in general, you have a decent chance of getting mm, consistent small amounts of ore. Uh, you're not going to be getting big ones like, you know, the uh, actual metal mines uh, up north, but consistency is the key what we're looking for here. If you can get consistently one or two pieces of metal at a time, that's better than nothing, right? So, if I continue this rate up, I should, should have enough to have a metal gate, and then eventually have enough to make that um, Tyrannosaurus saddle. Then all I gotta do is muster up the patience to sit around for two to three hours to get a dad goddamn Rex. Oy. And that's on just on a good day. That's with someone helping me. Oh. What am I under attack by? Oh no. Someone's attacking me. Someone's attacking him. Someone's attacking him. What is it? A dealer. Oh. Psh. Useless. Let's get that torch out so we can see a little better. Yeah. Oh! There's a lot of dealers. Swing that tail! Swing that tail! Alright. We're okay. Uh, I just keep thinking that these, like, things are gonna be... The, the sounds are too loud. I don't know. 
So anyways, see look at this. Such consistent amounts of metal from these tiny pieces of uh these tiny pieces of rock. So, I mean, you know, this is just like a noob's guide to uh stone farming. If you have a north base up there already, you're probably laughing at me. Um but yeah, this is what I'm going to do. So, um t we'll uh we'll see you guys when I have enough to make that gate. Don't click the wrong one. There we go. Bam. Look at that. Whoopa! All right. Let's go see how big this thing is. Yo, come outside and uh, scan, be a judge judge for me. Uh, I'm cutting down trees. Fine, be a bitch. So I'm doing this for you. Okay. Let's see here. Three. Huh. It's not as, it's not that much bigger than I thought it would be. It's just, it's pretty much the same size as the uh the door we already have. Really? Yeah. Just a, like an open top so they can fit through. No, I think I think you might be able to fit L let, let me wiki it. Maybe you can fit Tyrannosaurus already through these doors and we're just stupid. So no, according to the wiki, uh no, you can't get Tyrannosaurus through that. So apparently this is the right one. So whatever. I'm gonna take it on faith. That's gonna be for the next episode, though, because I'm just gonna build the things now and then build the base in the next one.